Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his real estate entrepreneur and Tuesday expert, Omar Afaro. How you doing, buddy? Be good, Michael. What's happening? What's up, everybody? Hey, so one of the things you know, and I just want to let the audience know, you are one of my Instagram followers. I don't actually follow a whole bunch of people, but you are one of them because you put out, A, you're in the business, you're doing deals, which we will talk about in episode two, but you also put out things that make me think, which... I appreciate, right? I uh, I like the mental challenge that, that some of the stuff you put out there. So thank you for doing that. What is your Instagram page so others can follow you? It's Omar underscore Alfaro. Uh, that's the best place to get a hold of me for everything. Yep. DM uh, you there. Yep. DM me there. But old fashionedly, let's just uh, go ahead and either email or give me a call. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm going to read to you your very last post as an example, right? This isn't one I cherry picked this, the last post or is it last post or first post? I don't know. Last post you put out, I think. Focus on new habits, develop new skills, get a head start on 2022. No one else will do it for you. Wow. Talk about, talk about just like, for me, those kind of things are like, there's just so much in that, man. Let's talk about, let's talk about all that. What do you, what do you want to start? Yeah. I mean, if you think about this, um, everything you've done the last three quarters. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are the skills. That's the, the habit that you created. All right. And if you keep going, you know, you'll probably get that same kind of result. And my thing is, is since we're always continuously improving in all aspects in business, you know, personal, um, you know, your family getting, you know, being more connected wherever you're at and in our industry, in the real estate field, you know, we're everywhere. Phone never stops. I mean, we're on this thing all day. And, you know, when I, when I talk about focus on, on, on new habits, well, new habits that are going to create change. Okay. New habits that are going to get you to a different um, level because initially your habit is going to allow you to, um, you know, have that better conversation with the next person. Maybe there's someone that like Michael and I about, you know, let's call it five years ago, Michael, where he was at, I was where I was at, but my, my skill level and the habit that I created to increase my skill level would not have been able to talk to Michael in a certain way. Yeah. Okay. So if you really dissect this thing, it's like, what, what got you here today isn't going to get you to 200 doors, isn't going to get you to 250 doors, right? Because you have to become the new person. So this is why I say yeah. develop new skills, you know, create the habits so you can develop the skill. And then next year, you're like, damn, I'm a new fucking person. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. One of the things that I was really proud of, uh, and, and frankly known for when I was, when I had a day job, right? The last, I don't know, I, I don't know what it was, maybe the last six or seven years of my career, I was taking software products from zero to a hundred million. And I did that three times. <laughs> Not a lot of people can do that, right? Take no. freaking vaporware and, and make it a hundred million dollar business. I did it three times. And the only way you could do that is you had to become something different. So this is how I broke it down, right? In my career, every year I had a number. And if you're taking a product from zero to hundred million, it goes something like this. The first year it's three or 5 million. It's some kind of small number, proof of concept. Is right. this a thing or not? Then let's just say it's 5 million. Then the next year it's like 20 million, right? It's, you know, it's three X or four X, depending how you want to do the math. Um, and then that, you know, you have to be something completely different going from 5 million to 20 million. And then my third year, a couple of times, my fourth year, the number was a hundred million. And, and trust me, it's all different, right? To go from a POC kind of, you know, beta clients to a hundred million dollar run rate business is it's, it, you just have to break everything. So this is what I did every year. And I, what I would challenge everybody to do. You had some goal. You will have some performance this year. Let's just, let's just like, what's an average broker in your business do or real estate agent, not broker. Sorry. Real estate. Are they do 12 transactions? Thir give me a number to play with. You know, I would say the industry average is like seven. Okay. Year. So let's say seven. 
So let's say you're on a run rate business at the end of the year, you have line of sight to do seven, shoot, maybe you're good and you're doing eight. That's where you're going to be. Most people look at this year's production and do what I call cost plus. Okay, I did eight. I want to do nine or 10 next year. That's boring. That's <laughs> lazy. I was going to tell you that right now too. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's soft, whatever you want to call it. That's weak. Weak, I like that. Um, but you know, if that's where you're comfortable, by all means, you can basically be who you are today and get there with just a couple of things going your direction. If you want to go from eight to 10, I'm not your guy. However, if you're at eight and you want to talk about doing 38, I'm your boy. I can get there because the first thing we're going to talk about, and I did this every year with my sales team, we would come out and we would congratulate everybody that helped us get the 5 million. That would be, depending on the company, somewhere between four and eight hours of celebration. We did it. Nobody thought we could. It was zero. Now it's five. Now we're covering costs. We have more engineers. We got some product marketing, blah, 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 blah. So between four and eight hours, celebrate, get excited then either we break for lunch or we break for the evening and we come back and I'm like, okay, now the number's 20. Mm -hmm. And oh, by the way, folks, everything we did last year is out the window because there is nothing that we could do next last, nothing we could do this year that we did last year that gets us to 20. So everything we've already done, throw it, throw it away. We are going to fundamentally be different people. hundred percent. So what are we going to do? And we would literally build the roadmap day one or afternoon one on how to get to 20. That's what it is. If you're at eight, you want to do 38, everything you did this year won't work. There's not, there's nothing you did this year that will work. You will have to fundamentally be a different person, Mm -hmm. but let's talk about it. Let's have some fun. And that's what I saw in your Instagram post. It reminded me of being that sales guy who just got done congratulating everybody, high-fiving, taking pictures, popping champagne, to kicking everybody in the ass, telling them we suck, we're not going to get there. Right? That was that was the Jekyll and Hyde of me, and this is what it is: focus on new habits, develop new skills, get a head start now on 2022. No one else will do it for you. And again, that was a big deal. Everybody in the room with me. This this is it. This is the people in the boat that did five that now got to do 20. Shoot, we're screwed. What can we do? Oh, it's big. I, I'm I'm telling you, this has so many meaning because or so many meanings, uh, because you control it, yeah. you know, but, but what's easy, which I think it's easy to develop a new skill, you know, just attack it. Yeah. Right. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. But yeah. because it's so easy to do, it's super simple not to do it as well. Most Thinking people that, don't want to get uncomfortable. No, at all. It's like, okay. Now question for you. It, for all the realtors out there, the, the the investors and stuff like that, you go make, and if you're a brand new wholesaler and you're listening to this, you go make a couple hundred K or $250,000 in wholesale fees. And you did, you know, whatever you did just now. Remember this market made you. Hmm. Yeah. Amen to that. You. you didn't make the market. You just got fucking lucky. Or I'm sorry, you got freaking lucky. I'm sorry. Don't want to cuss. But the next year, that's going to be different. Yeah. What are you going to change? to create that same amount of money, okay? Because last year's done. Yeah, the market's different. T- totally different. So your 250, you'll have to create a new you to make that 250. So if you want to get to 400, oh yeah. Be completely different. If you yeah. stay the same, you will not get the same money next year. Let me tell you that right now. Oh, that's an awesome point. Yeah, in the real estate business, it really goes for wholesalers, flippers and agents. If, oh, that's so awesome. I hadn't thought about that, right? So you did eight, you want to do 10, you stay the same, you're probably doing four. You're, I was going to say, you're not doing eight. You yeah, are you're not doing, doing four. Eight. Oh, oh, that is, yeah. Because that is a definitely, that is a difference between what you do now and what I did before. Because when you do software and you do a POC and you have references, and you're just trying to compound other, but yeah, you're right. You rip away the market which was 2020, 2021, you throw on 2022 with higher interest rates, totally different. a recession. Oh, dude, that, that just blew my head away. Hey, oh, wow. I, I have this written down because, you know, I go through it and stuff and 
and then I, I pick whatever I want to post out there, whatever. But if you stay the same, you won't get the same results. You won't. Yeah. Whatsoever. Yeah. And now that's going to smash everybody in their face because they're going to look at, and, and I'm telling you, the realtors, forget about it. Yeah, like you guys think you're, you guys think you're so awesome right now because you're getting all these deals. Great. Just wait until next year. Just wait until next year where competition is going to increase. Okay. There's going to be more properties. And, and, and I'll tell you this, you're not going to make the same amount per transaction. Yeah. If you want to break it down even more per transaction, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So let me just be very clear. Real estate investors of all ilk, buy and hold, flip, wholesale, uh, bit, ground up development, whatever you are, real estate agent, real estate brokers. We've been talking for quite a while, Omar, that the real estate market is changing. And again, we've been doing this for almost a year, year and a half. Six months ago, we said the easiest thing to do was flip ugly properties. 100%. Now we're telling you next year, the real estate slowdown is going to be real. Interest rates could go up. Uh, affordability could go down. Are you ready? And most of you, most of you are going to be lazy because you're going to take Thanksgiving off, off, then make excuses about Christmas, then New Year's, and you're going to be caught short in January wondering what happened. That's spot on because January is coming. Winter's <laughs> coming, as they say. Winter's Winter coming. Is coming. And let me add one more to this. Um, what I have, it, I have it written down right now. The, the aspect of, of you guys not changing. Yeah. You know, right now for, for all the realtors, for all the wholesalers that got all these contracts, for all the flippers, for all the, the new agents that got in the business that all of a sudden want to flip houses. Yeah. Well, you never even mastered your craft at becoming a great listing professional buyer's agent, whatever the case, master that first. So then when something changes, when you're flipping, you have all this money out, oh, market turns, you're screwed. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this because there's tons of people. Oh, Omar, I buy houses. Oh, I have a new course coming out. Oh, I have this. I have a meetup. Mm -hmm. Why would I want to have a meetup with you if you've done like four deals or two deals? You're not a fucking professional. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and this is where, and I get passionate about this. And I'm sorry, Michael, for dropping another F-bomb. <laughs> the, the, we're we're going to start, we're gonna start finding you a dollar a word. <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll pay it because this way people can actually hear it and they can resonate yeah. uh, on, on what I'm trying to say. So there will be a change and it's coming yes. just like winter's coming, change is coming. I agree. Please stay the same so you don't get the same results. So people like me that always evolve, people yeah. like you, people like that, that pay attention will go take all your business. Yeah, it's funny. I just had a call with another expert and one of the things we talked about is Right now, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to market to landlords who own property for 20 years. Why? Because they could be frustrated. They could avoid higher taxes, make sense for an installment loan, seller financing. But I told them, hey, if next year happens, real estate slowdown is real, higher rates, we hit a recession sometime. I told them my marketing's changing immediately. I'm going to go sub to uh, you know, anybody who owned a year or less and, and see what's going on. So you're so right. You've got to keep evolving and changing. But it really boils down to doing the work, getting uncomfortable, growing. So if you're going to, if you did eight this year and you thought you were it and you think you could do 10 next year, you're going to do four if you don't change. I, that was like a bonk in the head. That's awesome. And, and, it, and it gets a little bit, and I'll, I'll be quick here. Mm -hmm. So if you did 50 and you think you're the shit, or if you did a hundred deals, you're not doing a hundred next year. You're not doing 50 next year. Yeah, I because saw. You're think, especially yeah. because you made so much income, you're gonna think you make the same next year. You're not, dude. I, 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 and again, I've, I've been doing this for a long time. I know there were people in the last cycle that in 06, which the market was still hot, were planning to do the same in 07 and didn't realize the market had changed. They, they ran operations that got bigger, huge overhead, and they were bankrupt inside of a year. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, nah. I don't say much. There you go. Well, this has been a lot of fun, folks. Again, remember, uh, Omar has an IG page, Omar underscore Alfaro, A L F A R O. Follow him. He always puts out stuff that makes me think. So uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks, Michael. Mm -hmm.